Mel Lee and Martin Lewis call their book Bring Your Own Technology. No, not Bring Your Own Device. They might have called it Open Your Own Can of Worms because you don't have to get far into this book to see that the issue of students bringing their own technology into a classroom has far-reaching implications for the whole school community. Teachers, administrators and staff, students and very much families. There are lots of pitfalls, lots of hidden traps and lots to plan for in advance. In a well-written, strongly researched, eloquently argued book, the authors make the case that BYOT is unavoidable and that everyone should welcome it as a progressive and positive step forward. The debate in educational circles for the last few years about this topic has been polarised. Those against students using their own technology see it as a matter of trust and control. Can you trust students to do the right thing? Those in favour of BYOT, on the other hand, argue that it's silly to ignore the extensive technology students have access to outside a classroom. In this helicopter ride across the whole issue, the authors go well beyond this simplistic picture of BYOT. Drawing on nine examples of schools from around the globe that have dived in, all adopting BYOT in different ways, the authors detail all the elements that need to be considered. If your school is dead set against BYOT, you might want to read this book because if the authors are right about the six mega trends that make BYOT irresistible, then you're in for stormy weather with teachers, students and parents. On the other hand, if your school is now starting to consider BYOT, or is already on the way, then this is an excellent resource as a planning tool. There is enough material in this book to keep a planning committee busy for weeks and months. BYOT won't just happen, it needs careful planning. But the experience of the schools in this book is that it can be done successfully and the rewards in learning and social cohesion are well worth the effort.